Hello, Cheap Ari here. Today we're going to be doing some slight impressions of the Terminator Dark Fate Defiance game that's available on Steam right now. Um, this is available for PC. This is a real-time strategy game that uses the license of the latest and potentially last live-action Terminator movie uh, that came out some years ago. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm playing it on the Steam Deck. So I'm not much of a real-time strategy guy in terms of doing those types of games. I like to be in the combat as opposed to overseeing the combat. Um, but um, I love Terminator, one of my most favorite uh, films of all time, film franchises, and I eat up everything that's Terminator. Um, there have been some great Terminator games, um, and there have been not some not so great. Um, and even the great ones, at least in my opinion, have not been overly welcomed uh, by gamers at large. So I like the Terminator 3 Redemption game that came out for the original PS2 and GameCube. I know it's a very janky game. That's one of my favorites. I also like um, Terminator Resistance, which I think was with the DLC included. Uh, that is the game that came out for PS4, PS5, consoles, uh, Xbox. Uh, so th that game was, uh, was pretty darn good uh, with the DLC included. Uh, to give it that longevity and give you different facets of a story that intersected with the Terminator movie, the first one. So um, hopefully this one is a good game. Uh, again, um, Terminator Dark Fate as a property uh, is kind of tarnished uh, because that movie, even though I enjoyed it, um, was very much a same formula, nothing new about it. And I think that by the time that property came around, even though it was fairly well reviewed, um, it was just kind of past its expiration date. People had care, could care less about the property without a large scale reboot or reinvention. Uh, this, uh, this continuity is just as exhaustive, as confusing as you would say the Highlander franchise um, with each new iteration, ignoring the last one, but considering the first uh, movie the first, or the second. Um, so hopefully with Terminator Dark Fate Defiance, um, this game kind of uh, takes the franchise or takes that property to better lengths than what the movie did. And there's been plenty of movie licensed games that have been better than the actual property it's based on. Uh, that includes Van Helsing, that includes Chronicles of Riddick. Um, there have been quite a few uh, movie licensed games that have just been uh, really bangers compared to the movie. So without further ado, let's get into this game. Atlanta one month after Judgment Day. Pretty cool, the, the blue humes and just the lighting is very reminiscent of, of T2. And of course, T1. Hey, wait up. Where, where are you going? You hear that? The machines are coming. Army's trying to slow them down, but there's still people trapped in the ruins. We gotta find them before the battle reaches them. Wait, we're still cops, right? We got a duty to help those people. Leave it to the army. This is war. You wanna be a hero? Then go ahead. But none of us are trained for this. The rest of you do what you want. I'm out of here. Hey, asshole. What happened to Tech and Sir? We're with you, students. What we do? We're going back in there. It's going to be rough, but it's what we need to do. You with me? All right. Move forward down the street. OK. Atlanta PD. I'm on it. OK. Um, Left click uh, to highlight your squad, right click to move them forward. Looks like you've got some different options here on the right that I'm not clear of of what they are. Over Is here. Who are dead? The radio's still working. Copy. Anyone there? Are we the only ones left? ROC dead. Who's in command here? Give us orders. We're cut off. Copy. No things are everywhere. Assistance needed. I'm here. Tell me where you are and we'll come to you. Who is this? Identify 
yourself. Officer Chris Stevens, Atlanta PD. Cop, this is a military operation. Put you in command. The machine's dead, and they killed all of your officers. And like I said, tell us where you are, and we'll come get you. Atlanta PD. Copy that. Okay, now they're in the vehicle. It's too dangerous to engage right now. We need more forces. Copy. So, uh, it's too Ron dangerous to engage right now. We need more forces. So what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to go to that spot right there. What are you talking about? Can't you get this thing mobile? We're waiting for orders. No one seems to know who's in command now. I am, I guess. So move forward, support our defense line. Sir, yes, sir. Take him out. They've even got these little uh, small HK drones. So in terms of some of the story elements of this game, at least what I'm taking uh, from the game thus far, is that it looks like it begins uh, right during, um, or should I say right after Judgment Day. And you've got a cop that uh, kind of just takes... Uh, charge and saving a number of soldiers um, and they're able to escape the initial onslaught from Legion and then it jumps 10 years uh, and to the fact that now that cop is now a major and is now uh, leading uh, uh, at least a portion of what is called um, the resistance but anybody that started the resistance is listed as a founder like a founding member of the resistance uh, a lot of that's very similar to other Terminator mythology, uh, especially coming from Terminator Salvation. There was a series of books, one of which I believe it was From the Ashes, that dealt with uh, uh, right during Judgment Day. There are a series of soldiers out on training missions, and then um, they got separated, and they're kind of, they do a time jump to see what's happened in terms of uh, who's taken charge, who's in hiding. So it feels very much like that. Again, it looks like you're not following any of the characters from the movie. I don't know if they ever show up in the game, but it seems like not. Um, what I think is really cool that nobody uh, has really done since the original Terminator comic books back in the 80s is that there are um, there are uh, like Terminator dogs and stuff like that in this game, which is pretty cool. Uh, but let's go back into the game. So it looks like you take over a character called Alex Church after the beginning uh, segment in Atlanta. Oh, look at that. It just runs away so quickly. What is that? It's fast. Again, they're like little HKs, little drones. So just uh, playing for uh, a little bit, just the initial first 15, 20 minutes or so, um, uh, just uh, kind of grasping uh, the initial aspects of the game. There's going to be a lot more coming. This is really uh, just getting started. Um, but I do like aspects of it. Um, I do like... Um, that is kind of building to this mystery uh, about what Legion is up to. 
there is a storyline with characters. Um, uh, essentially, you've got um, these themes of uh, these um, lesser ranked uh, um, characters kind of building up leadership roles and building up in the ranks due to kind of uh, taking leadership um, in these uh, situations. And you've got Legion doing its own thing to kind of create this uh, uh, new uh, type of Terminator, which is what I assume it is until I go down further. And until I kind of break out into what the squads are supposed to be and how I'm supposed to manage them and the different things that I can do within uh, managing um, uh uh, these soldiers, uh, I won't fully grasp as to all the different facets of the game, but uh, I'm not much into real-time strategy games. I just bought it based off the Terminator name, but it does interest me, uh, but not. it's not like a, a game changer for me to like, oh, this is amazing. Um, I do like the aspect that on the main screen, you do get the Terminator theme, um, but uh, other than that, uh, there's not much in terms of uh, some of the music that you'd see in the Terminator Resistance, which is constantly uh, playing different themes from uh, the first two movies. But it's at least good to have the Terminator theme in the main menu screen. So uh, just grasping the surface, guys. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, this is, I believe, on sale right now for like 26 bucks. So you can't go really that wrong with a fairly uh, um, budgeted, uh, safe game. So that's for me. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.